Hey guys, how's it going? Fitzy here and Rachel and I are exploring Devil's Den today. We were already here, so it's our second time today that we're like going in. Um, if you come early, you get the wristband and then you can basically go as often as you want. But if you come like after like 10 or 12, it says, or at noon, they close that. So you have to come early. So that's actually the Devil's Den entrance and it doesn't look like much if you think about it, but it's just stairs down and really dope. Check this out, it's really dope. The water is crystal clear. Oh. What is the best part? When the people left? Yeah. We basically had it almost all to ourselves for a, a brief stint. Yeah, so that is also a good point. If you're a little bit claustrophobic, it's like kind of sketchy because there's a bunch of people coming at the weekends. Maybe you go in the week early, that would help out, I think. Just coming early in general would help a lot. Yeah, everything else is like kind of iffy. Yeah, and check this out. That's really neat. There's like a swimming area that is like kind of closed down today, but it looks really, really nice. It's so cool here. You gotta check out Devil's Den. The botanical garden is also the bomb. Quite the spot. Time for round two with the diving. <laughs> also, check this out. It's really pretty here isn't it so actually if you're in the devil's den you have to look out for a couple of things first divers have the right of way so. they, they come down the steps first you make way for them when they're swimming they have right of way and just in general also there's another thing where you should look out for so everybody has to have masks and fins but because everybody got masks and fins um people are like just like paddling around and accidentally hitting people so you have to look out where you actually put your fins and it's kind of cramped there if it's busy so you have to be really careful and also if you dive you have to look what is under you and what is above you so it's really deep there so you have people under you who are trying to come up and yeah so you want to make space for them but you also don't want to run into them so it's like a lot to look out for also there's a lot of light shining in and it can be really confusing if you dive up to the light and you basically hit that light and you're like where am I because you don't see anything because you have the goggles on and the goggles reflect and you just see white everywhere you don't know where is the entrance or the escape thing and sometimes you don't even see the divers where you dive up to because the light is so bright How much did we pay? Twenty dollars for all day. Worth it. But and you have to come early. Yes. And if it, you want to rent stuff, there's a two-hour window for renting gear. So you can rent your goggles and snorkel and fins as well. 
Yeah, but two hours. And we did not do that, we brought our own stuff, so unlimited. <laughs> mention, maybe we should mention the age limit? Age limit? Is there age limit? Um, kids, no kids under six are permitted in the pool. Oh, oh, I did not know that. That's online. This is also, check, check with the website and call in because, yeah, we, we wanted to make sure that they have space, but yeah. And they are open, but it's privately owned, so they can do whatever they want, technically. And you have to sign a waiver, but yeah. Only closed on Christmas, they told me. Yeah. Cicadas everywhere. Time to leave? Time to leave. So, it was ultra nice. You gotta check it out. It's like one of the best things, I think, in Florida. Besides Wikiwachi. I'm not sure if Wikiwachi is better or that whole thing. It's really good. Check out his, his video about Wikiwachi to tell us the answer. <laughs> well, that's like a little bit... Self-promoting. <clears throat>